Hey guys and welcome to Minicom Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to request an e-signature for a PDF document from anyone and also how you can also sign a document sent to you via Adobe e-signature request. Okay, so like I said, the first part has to do with you being the one requesting for the e-signature. If you have a PDF document and you wish to request an electronic or what we call an e-signature from somebody, then I'll show you how to do that with Adobe Acrobat. Okay. Secondly, if you wish to sign a document that has been sent to you via Adobe eSignature request, this video will also help you. So it's very, very simple. We have this PDF right here, and I'll simply right click on it, open it with what? Adobe. Okay. Now, once I open it with Adobe, preferably always reduce this to 100%. Well, this makes your piece, your PDF sizable and for you to be able to perform any actions. Now, after this, if you want to send an e-signature request, simply come and click on Tools. And then you come down here and you will see something like Request e-signatures. Then you click on that or you can click on Open. Okay. Now, when you click on that, this dialog box opens. And over here, you can just read through to understand what it's all about. So they are saying what? Over here, you can add the recipient's email. Now, they are saying uh, get e-signatures faster than email. Okay. Now, um, recipient sign in minutes. No printing, no scanning is required. Recipients receive an email link to sign online for free without having to download Adobe Acrobat. Okay. Lastly, documents are signed fast and securely. So, in today's world, most people are resorting to e signatures because it's much more secure than printing a document. And it's, you know, so. All you have to do is to put the recipient's emails here. You can add as many recipients as you like. If all these people are going to sign the document or fill and sign the document, then you have to put their name, their emails. Okay, so let me give you an example. In case the first person is Minukun Tutorial, so simply enter Minukun Tutorials at gmail.com. Okay, in case you want to add other recipients, just place the cursor inside this um, place and then you can start to type the second recipient. For instance, the second recipient is Sandon, you know, can just type his email. But for this tutorial, I will limit it to just one recipient because I will, this video after this part, I will also show you the second part who, which will have to do with which will have to do with how Minukun will sign the document once he receives it. So I don't want to put two recipients because that will make the work the video too long. So I just limit it to one recipient. And then over here we have what but it's the same for even if you have multiple recipients. Over here you have the title. By default it took the PDF name which is uh cover letter underscore minukun. You can edit it so you can say for instance E signature request request for cover letter and if you want to make it to be more professional then you can say dear minukun dear minukun you put comma hit enter please review and sign this document many thanks or oh, yes a best and you write sound on here for instance when you are done after which you click on what specify where to sign this might take some few seconds just wait a bit perfect now over here if you should come over here to recipients just come and click on sometimes 
when you uh, come to you see that we've passed the first stage which has to do with adding uh, let's say signatures now we've come to the second place which has to do with specifying where to field now sometimes when you come to this stage you may notice that advanced editing uh, option here will be off so once it's off this is how your document will look like what that means is that you don't have you are not going to add any fields or you even specify where the person is going to sign and the fellow will have to do it by him or herself which is not very good because if the person doesn't know how to use adobe properly he will be struggling secondly the fellow might place his or her signature anywhere which you don't want so it's always better you you specify where the fellow would feel and sign so to do this make sure you turn on advanced uh, editing on okay turn it on advanced editing on and when you click on recipients here you will see all the recipients so at the moment we just have one recipient which is minokun tutorials right this is sandong minokun which is actually myself and then blue here is for anyone okay so but these are not necessary but we just have one recipient with the color green here now let's click on this to close it come to the signature fields okay so signature fields you see that you have signature if you want you just initial stamp whatever come to the signature info fields this is where i'll come first because I want the person's name to be written who is signing before the signature. So come in, left click on this option here. Left click and hold. Drag it into the documents. Right, so I'll drag it here. Because I want Minukun to write his full name here. I also want him to put his title. If is he the chief financial officer? Who knows? So we have to left click on title. If you want, you might not you might decide not to put these options for me. I want them, so I'll put it put it here. Okay, perfect. And then after which um I can now let him sign. So I'll come to signature fields, pick my signature here, left click and go drag it here. Drag it to wherever I want him to sign. So I want him to sign over here. After which, do I want him to put his the date of signature underneath it? Then I can. Sorry. If so, then I can simply click on signature fields here and then pick the dates or his email. But I don't need all those details. For me, it's just okay because the signature itself comes with a date of signature. So I don't need those extra details. Now, once I'm done. I just make sure you come and click on double click on any of these uh, fields that you've kept here double click on it and then you would realize that the assigned person will appear here this is very important because when you have multiple signers you have to do this if not everything will just be mixed up so you make sure that every option that you've placed here double click on it click on this menu and make sure you selected the right signing for that option that you that field that you've inserted so this option is for minimum tutorial he's the only signing anyway i'll come and double click on this one too and make sure it's minimum tutorials perfect so but notice that when i click on this okay this is what this is his um this for his what his full name right so and then over down here we have what field type his name this is for his full name and blah 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 so just click on okay title to like i said is the title you make sure it's the right email come to signature you make sure it's the right email this is helpful because if you have to add multiple fields then you can make sure that this person will sign here and then that person also be the right person signing where he's supposed to sign.
Now, once you have done this verification, simply come over here and you have the option in case you want to keep this, what you are doing as a template for your future uh, signature request, then you make sure you click on save as template. If not, just go ahead and hit on send. And then you send and track the progress of your, what, your signature. Now, notice that after I did that, they are saying what e-signature request for cover letter minimum has successfully been sent. Kudos to us. And now, let me now show you how Minukun would have to sign when he received this cover letter. He will just open his browser. So, the disadvantage of e-signatures is that it often requires internet, okay? But it's very good and much, much secured. Now, so this person received, so let's, let me, let's assume I want to, I will log into my email. Okay, so let's assume this is what. I'll just click on uh, this drop down menu and I'll pick this is menu from tutorials here. Okay, so Minicum Tutorials will log into his email address. So he just simply has to log into his email address. Perfect. Now, once Minicum logs into his email address, he will see, you see the email here showing up. Um, e signature requested for, uh, sorry, signature requested on e signature request for cover letter it should have been signature requested on cover letter but i made a title for blah 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 no problem if i should open it now you have the message here that i rightly wrote which is what uh, dear minutum please review and sign best sound see how nice it is now this person will just click on uh, after receiving the document, we we'll just click on review and sign. And bam, we'll click on down here on continue. And after which, they are saying what? Okay, after which, he just reads the document, reads the document, reads the document. And over here, he will see all the fields that are added. So here is for his or her title. Okay, first of all, click on start. So if you click on start, start here over here, click on start. Okay, I haven't done any of them. So notice that when I click on start, it just keeps jumping from one to the other. Okay, now so first of all, you have to and he has to enter his title. So Minukun will come and enter his title here, which is what I added his name. His name will be added later on. So he will enter his title as the chief financial officer, CFO. Now, here's where he's supposed to sign, right? So he clicks on sign. And then he has different options. In Adobe, you could either type just your, his name and it will be a signature. If he wants, he's called, let's say, uh, menu kun maliku. So if he wants his signature to just be like this, cool. If he wants to draw, then he can also draw. He can just delete this and then draw. If he has an image, he can import it already. If he wants to draw, then he can click on draw. Then he can draw his signature here using his trackpad. Or his mouse see how I'm, I'm actually um, drawing this signature with the track part of my laptop it's very very possible very easy you see it and then after which he will have to enter his name here so he will just enter his full name menu kun maligu okay and then he simply clicks on apply if he feels like the signature is okay in case he wants to clear the signature he can clear here and then repeat the process so i just click on apply and then 
you will notice that his name is over here and then his signature is right here and he's the chief financial officer perfect and then minicum just goes ahead and click on what sign click to sign and they are saying what you are all set perfect minicum can actually download a copy of his document here And he has his document here that he can download for himself. And you, the sender of the, the, the whatever of the, the the request, you are also going to receive a copy. So let me show you how. So you see that this is how the document will look like. Well signed, very beautifully. Okay, as you can see. Now let's see how Minukum, uh, Minuk, sorry, Sandong, who who is the one who sent the document. So if I should open my mailbox, the sender, in my case, I'm using my Outlook account. So it's not like my Outlook account is what I use to set up my Adobe. So it's not my, my Gmail account. So once I open my Outlook account, or if, if it's your Gmail account that you use to set up your Adobe, once you open it, just log into your account. The person the sender's account and then you would see this document here that e signature for cover letter minimum tutorial blah 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 signed off the document has been signed and filled and you yourself the sender can just download your document here if you want to open it you can open it actually and this is your document okay so this is the document you are the one who sent the document so it comes with what a what we call a certification so you have this the signature the document is here you have the signature here perfectly placed and then underneath you have attached to this pdf what is signature request for blah 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 you see for cover letter you have the date of the signature this is a, the signature certificate without the signature certificate just this wouldn't um, the signature certification is actually what authenticates the signature so you need to download this pdf just the way it is 